What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we have more information going forward including the return of heavy machine guns, future free events and annual pass DLCs and much much more people exciting times ahead for sure but before we get into it I have an exclusive emblem a Gambit emblem code to give it away one lucky person from my comment section over the next few weeks will be picked and I will send you this emblem via direct message it's simple so drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below remember to subscribe for daily destiny videos also and also stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about my monthly controller giveaway okay so we had an amazing forsaken launch trailer we had the patch notes which i've already covered but we also had a read up too showcasing even more shit to come with destiny 2 and it's just crazy people now the read up we are going to break down as i came across many things you may have missed some seriously interesting things mentioned for sure including post forsaken events and content releases which we will check out too. Now if you didn't see the entire VDUC you can find it linked within the video description definitely worth your time checking out. Okay so the first thing to point out is the director. Now obviously in game now we have a new director but it's missing the Dreaming City and the Tangled Shore. Here we can see both and where they will be located also seeing Gambit located at the bottom of the screen. The next scene we see the pursuits tabs and we get a quick glimpse at a new quest but there are three of these here as well as Gambit Bounties, not sure what these actual quests are, but I'm hoping they give some juicy loot. Now the Gambit Bounties reward you infamy rank points, which is Gambit rank points, which is going to be epic. In this next shot, we get a look at the Machinist. This Titan seems to be trying to dolphin dive into the mofo. This, I believe, is either the first mission, which sees us go into the Prison of Elders, or it's a strike, which sees us go into the Prison of Elders. Maybe the strike is the first mission, wouldn't be surprised, would you? They then talk about law within the game which we can require from numerous places like defeating bosses and collecting collectibles and so forth. These in turn can unlock story and more. The law is real here people so you law folks out there are going to have a crazy good time. We then see inside Spider's inventory, Spider is a Tangled Shores vendor. Now we know via the lore behind this character he has a fascination with dead ghosts and we also know he is going to be a major NPC in this DLC. And after we complete the game, he opens up in regards for us to go and see and work for that juicy loot via doing his Tangled Shore bounties or doing the Wanted bounties. Seen on screen now, Wanted Noctis Reborn. Begin your hunt in a carrion pit on Nessus. The text made me chuckle here, not gonna lie. What's it say? Narix? Mmm. You're lucky I'm not sending you after that chatterbox AI. Now this rewards you gear, clearly. What gear this will be? No idea yet. But look what it requires you to pick up these actual wanted bounties. Ghost fragments, it requires three in total. Now I might be way off here, but I have a feeling ghost fragments just might be the planetary material for the Tangled Shore. Because bare minimum you will need 40 plus to pick up these wanted bounties. And that's not including that gold fella on the end, if that costs more than three. We know ghost fragments as collectibles from D1. Things we went out searching for, which gave us in-game lore. In D2, I don't think they will work the same. We know Spider has a fascination with these dead ghosts, so it kind of makes sense there are some kind of material we can trade with him, which we can farm in-game. Whether there are or are not a planetary material from the Tangled Shore, it definitely seems that we do have to go out and get them somehow. Now what is super interesting here is the fact he also offers material exchanges. We see cores, shards, glimmer and four planetary materials too. These no doubt also you will have to probably trade them ghost fragments for. But we will see, we will see. Okay so moving on and I then talk about chasing triumphs, basically finding in game lore. That via defeating enemies, finding collectibles and whatever other means there are. In doing so you can unlock titles like the one we see on screen now. And we actually see it's highlighted on your name in social spaces and so forth looking absolutely great. Now back to that hunter's inventory we see him rocking the old school prison of elders armor looking sexy. Now this I do believe is all exclusive to a single new forsaken strike. So one strike will offer you at least 15 armor and class item pieces across all three characters. Epic. Now let's go back to the scene where this hunter is showing off his legendary title. Anyone else notice here there are at least 7 Guardians in this single fire team, maybe even more? Now I know this is obviously a test build of the game so all is possible and for that reason I will look no further into it for now. The view that then moves on to 3 seasons, live events, updates and rewards. Now before we step any further guys, heavy machine guns are back with a quick glimpse at what I believe could be the Thunderlord but it 
kind of real hard to make out for sure, but I'm pretty sure that is the fun load. More about them in a second though. So they then talk about the seasons, and there being four of them in total. These will be where they reset and refresh events and rituals. Awesome. The first one will include a new PvP mode called Breakthrough. This will come with the new Iron Banner also in December. Bungie State, the one thing they want to do going into the new year is make sure there is new and fresh content every single month so it don't get a content drought. So that sounds pretty epic. The seasonal events will be 100% free by the way. They then talk about the annual pass that are free coming, Black Armoury, Joker's World and Penumbra. The Black Armour, which is first up at the end of the year in December, sounds amazing. There is an elite group of crafters who have created some of the most notorious weapons in the Destiny universe, and we get access to this vault of insane weapons, the greatest weapons ever created in the Golden Age. Although what we see isn't much, I am definitely excited for sure. Next up we have the Joker's World which arrives spring 2019. Joker's World seems to be all about the Drifter who is the Gambit vendor. Within Joker's World we learn more about the Drifter's backstory so that's quite good and I can't wait to see more about it. We also learn more about what's inside that crazy rock he has anchored to his ship. Penumbra the third annual DLC they are keeping hush on. They state much like the Black Spindle quest in game now, they just want to give us the name but let us explore the content upon a release so they want to keep hush about it. We'll see how that goes people, them keeping hush on a new DLC, hmm, but I do like the idea though. And that's basically it from the Vidoc guys. But we have more on these content releases and what's up for offer here. We have times, we have content, we have loads of shiz, so let's check it out. Okay, so ahead of time now, September 1st, we get a 24 hour trial of Gambit, that should be fun. September 4th, we get the Forsaken. September 14th, we get the Forsaken Last Wish Raid. September 18th, Iron Banner returns with a new Crucible map, The Convergence. In October, the Festival of the Lost returns, this time with a twist. So in December this year, the free seasonal update, Season of the Forge. Heavy machine guns return, people, about damn time if you ask me. With new weapons, new crucible content, iron banner, gameplay changes, seasonal ranks, with the dawning event. The annual pass Black Armoury, discover weapons of light and fury, add the Black Armoury treasure to your legend. Access to the Black Armoury, new forges of the chain activity, new red layer, new exotics, new legendaries, new triumphs and collectibles and bonus rewards. Sounds great people. Spring 2019, free seasonal update, we get the season of the drifter. New weapons, new crucible content, iron banner, gameplay changes and seasonal ranks. Event to be announced, the annual pass event here is the Joker's World. Gambit was only the beginning and the drifter is ready to deal you another deadly hand. New activity experience, Gambit evolves, new exotics new legendaries, new triumphs and collectibles, and bonus rewards. Moving on, again, free new season stuff, new weapons, new crucible content, iron banner, gameplay updates, and seasonal ranks. We then have the penumbra. Only the brave will learn what lurks in the shadow. Only the strong will survive its teeth. New activity experience, new red layer, new exotics, new legendaries, new triumphs and collectibles, and bonus rewards. So the content people will be flying out for sure. But yeah, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. So much has been covered guys and I apologise about the length, but I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leaving a like really does help me out. Tell me what you think about the future of Destiny 2 down below within that comment section. And I may just pick you to win my exclusive Gambit Emblem Code. Also guys, remember every month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also be sure to make sure you are subbed to the channel and then follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple and legit guys. But on that note, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.